Hello everyone. So let's try to solve one more question uh, from CSI Arnet, and uh, this is question ID four thirty two. So this is question ID four thirty two. This is quantum mechanics question. So this is very simple question, straightforward. So in this particular problem, so there is a mass m which is in the third energy eigen state. So it is not given third excited state. So student, don't confuse with the third excited state. Third excited state means n is equal to four, but third energy eigen state means n is equal to three. So you have to keep in mind this thing. Of infinite potential will of width a, the time interval in which phase of this wave function change by two pi. So we can easily see this thing. So what will be psi t? Psi t is equal to phi three e to the power minus i e three t upon h cut. And we know what is my phi three? Phi three is nothing but root two upon a sine three pi x upon a, where x is between zero to a and zero otherwise. And what is e three? E three is nothing. That is nine pi square h cut square upon two m a square. It is given that this phase. So this is the phase part. So this phase is equal to two pi. So it is directly given e three t upon h cut must be equal to two pi. So the time is equal to two pi h cut upon e three. So once we will put it here. So this is two pi h cut and e three is nine pi square h cut square into two m a square. So we have four pi. So one pi one pi will cancel. So we have this particular value as four m a square upon nine pi h cut. So we can just go for four m a square upon nine pi h cut. This will be the correct answer. So yes, only you have to know how the time is going to evolve, and you can just use postulates five, and you can give the answer. Only thing is that you have to understand. That third energy eigen state is n is equal to three because some people can do the wrong calculation by assuming third excited state. If it will be third excited state, then we have to calculate for n is equal to four. Thank you.